Well, this is our devotional for July 21, and we're looking at Proverbs chapter 28. And this, these three insights are kind of contrasts, something over something else. I kind of noticed this theme as I, as I walked through this chapter and prayed about which, which verses to look at and which truths to kind of ponder. And so all these are kind of a contrast, something over something else. So three lessons, I ask the Spirit to speak to your heart and God to give you direction for wisdom in your life. So lesson number one, character over wealth. If you have to choose, choose character over wealth. Listen to verse six. Better the poor whose walk is blameless than the rich whose ways are perverse. I want to read that again. Better the poor whose walk is blameless than the rich whose ways are perverse. If you have to choose between character, righteousness, goodness, kindness over having stuff, choose character every time. Your life will be better, you will be happier, and your relationships will be meaningful. Because if, if you're all about money and not about character, you can have all the things of the world, but you're not going to have relationships, and those are the things that matter the most. Contrast number two, confessing over hiding. Confessing over hiding. This is a challenging one. Verse 13, whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. And notice this, confesses and renounces. Don't just acknowledge your sin, but renounce those things, repent of those things, turn away from those things. So here's what we're tempted to do, hide our sins. God says, confess our sins. This is something I've learned through the years about sin. If we keep sin in the dark, hidden in the dark, it grows. If we put sin in the light of God's presence, it dies. It's exactly the opposite of like the second grade science experiment that I did and maybe you did too when you were a little kid where you put like the little bean in the, in the styrofoam cup. Of course, now styrofoam is evil, but it would be a paper cup, a biodegradable paper cup. But if you, you know, we, we, there was a little bit of soil and you put a bean in it and then you put one like in a cabinet and one out on the counter and then run one by the window and you would see how the light shining made the one bean grow strong and healthy and the one in the dark died. In nature, put things in the light and they grow. It's the opposite spiritually. Spiritually, if you're dealing with sin and you keep it in the dark, it thrives. When you confess it and bring it into the light and turn from it, it dies. That's the challenge. Confessing over hiding. And then our third contrast for today. Industry over fantasy. Industry over fantasy. Work hard over silly dreams that aren't going to take you anywhere. Here's what the passage says. Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasies have their fill of poverty. The idea is this, work hard, be industrious, do your part. We can't provide everything, but we can do our part and God can then provide. But those who chase fantasies, and, and we've all met people like this, and maybe sometimes we've been people like this, maybe right now we deal with it. It's one dream after the next dream after the next dream, but there's never the time to actually pursue that thing, develop that thing. Maybe some of those dreams could have become realities, but they weren't really goals, they were fantasies. So industry, work hard, produce something over dream after dream after dream after dream. I say that also encouraging you, if you have a God-given dream, it's not a fantasy, it's a dream from God. And if you work hard to make it happen, God can do amazing things. But what the Bible means here by, you know, what I, what I mean by fantasy, what the Bible means by just you know, imagining, it's always on to the next, um, oh, here's my next plan, here's my next thing I'm gonna do. And everybody who hears it kind of rolls their eyes or internally does that, oh yeah, you're off on some other wild goose chase and you're not working hard at anything, beware. God provides for us working with him and working hard in all that we do. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer, that your wisdom, that your word would sink into our minds, into our hearts, transform our words, our hands, our lives, all that we do and all that we are. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your wisdom. May we walk in it and live it every day of our lives. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. This Sunday we gather for worship, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Hope to see you there.